Hello friends, it's been a while. In fact, I haven't talked to you at all in 2013. Uh, for those of you joining me for the first time, welcome to my office. I haven't positioned the camera correctly. Well, that's not much better. Um, my name is Christopher Robin Zimmerman. That really is my name. It's a long one. You can call me CRZ. Right there. Today I want to talk to you about running for Minneapolis Mayor, M-P-L-S-M-A-Y-O-R, hashtag. I filed a week ago today. There are seven days left in the filing process. There are 16 candidates as I type this. Actually, let me double check that. Vote.MinneapolisMN.gov says there are coming up very slowly. I only do one take. Yep, 16 candidates. Only one or two of the top tier candidates, as in the ones the Minneapolis Star Tribune has been talking about nonstop for what feels, feels like forever. Um, two people maybe on that list I'd like to see as mayor, including myself. So I'm going to wait one more week before I really get into it because uh, it's 13 weeks until Election Day. That's 91 days. 62 days until the first Timberwolves preseason game, 85 days until the first Timberwolves regular season game. But with 91 days to go, there aren't a whole lot of people thinking about the mayoral race right now. In fact, I'm not even sure all 16 of these people are thinking about the, bio the mayoral race right now. I happen to be because I'm doing this video, but there's a good chance that if I weren't doing this video, I wouldn't be. So anyway, is this the best way to make a first impression? Perhaps, perhaps not. I don't know, what do you want, a speech? Truth is, last couple of years of our current mayor, R.T. Ryback, I feel like he let us down. And he made some very questionable decisions. And he, well, I mean, he was my guy for a long time. I've lived in Minneapolis since 2004. And that guy, the he was on a pedestal and I had a shrine built to him. And the past couple of years... I don't know what's happened. I don't think I've changed. I think he's changed. But maybe we both have changed. But there's a lot of hinky business and a lot of questionable decisions and a lot of stuff I don't want to see the next mayor do. And the truth is, for most intents and purposes, Minneapolis is a one-party town, and that's the DFL. And when I look at the non-DFLers who run, again, one really high-profile one that hasn't filed yet but has made a lot of noise and made a lot of speeches and press conferences that somehow the press attends and reports on. I'm, I'm shocked about that, but he's not going to win. He's not the guy I would want for mayor anyway. So really, I'm not sure there's a really great choice out there. And rather than complain and complain and complain, as I tend to do on Twitter, on Facebook, etc., I thought it might be better if I just ran myself. So I did. I filed. I meet the qualifications. One, I live in Minneapolis. Two, I'm registered to vote. It means uh, I'm 21 and over. I'm actually twice 21. I'm 42. What was the other one? You have to have 20 bucks to pay the filing fee, preferably your own. So the first day of filing, I went down. I wanted to be there when the filing office opened at 8 a.m. It rained and I was late, and I got lost. It's a big building and has a couple entrances. I filed at 9 a.m., uh, after which the initial rush of four people had left. So I was the second person to declare. Uh, the first guy I know nothing about. I'll talk about him later. I'm going to talk about all these people in the next 13 weeks. Um, not on video, though. There probably won't be a lot of videos. I will probably confine it to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash crz for mayor, M-A-Y-O-R. If you can't find it, you can go to crz.net where I have a link to the page right up at the top where it says, yes, I'm really a candidate for mayor. So I don't want to get into too much all the stuff I want to do or not do. What I would like to do is give you a choice. And if you feel you have no choice, I would like to make a pitch to be your choice. And the truth is that Although there are about 360,000 people in, in Minneapolis, maybe a sixth of those people will vote in this election. And you only got to get half plus one of those people to win. 
So if I can convince 25 to 30,000 people to vote for me, it's a stone cold lock, baby. I become the next mayor of Minneapolis. Is that possible? Mm, it, it's tough. In 2013, it's easier than it has been. It's possible to reach people without spending a whole lot of money. And in fact, I pledge to spend no money above and beyond the filing fee, $20. Uh, and I'm also including the 275 I fed the meter while I was down at City Hall. So we'll round up. Beyond that 23 bucks, I don't want to spend any more money on this campaign. I will invest my precious, precious time. Uh, most of that will be online. If you want me to appear at your thing, I suppose, uh, yeah, I, I can't say no to an invitation, right? I don't expect to get a whole lot of invitations. I don't expect to be treated as a serious candidate. Uh, and why would I? That's okay. But I want you to consider me your protest vote. If you don't want a DFLer who's just going to go along with the city council anyway, if you're happy with the one-party rule, if you're happy with the way Minneapolis is going, and your vision of Minneapolis in the future is all roses, no problems, everyone on their bicycles, more power to you, man. Vote for whoever you like. Well, you can vote for whoever you like anyway, but I prefer you vote for me. And maybe your uh, vision of Minneapolis is one where you're worried and concerned, have concerns, not sure we're going to be able to pay for everything, and not sure that whoever's coming next doesn't have a whole lot of kooky, expensive ideas to pile up on top of that. Maybe take a look my way. Uh, if you've gotten this far, good God, man, it's seven minutes. But I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me. Ask me on Facebook. Email me. Tweet me. My information is out there and it's everywhere. My name, Christopher Robin Zerman. Just in case it matters, obviously I approve this message. Uh, let's have fun for the next 13 weeks and see if we can make a little noise. Thanks for watching.